they beat the Bears on the road? The answer is yes. I'm not saying they're going to win the Super Bowl, but that's a legit Super Bowl contending team, which I did not think they would be early this season. Mm -hmm. I thought, well, everyone says it's business as usual. Of course, Belichick, Brady, as long as they're there. I thought, no, sometimes things change. Nope, not if they go out and beat the Bears on the road right now. And then look, well, the Bears' defense didn't look so good last week. Khalil Max dinged up. You know, maybe this is – at a certain point, enough excuses. How, like, the, you know, the Patriots are – the Dolphins look pretty good. The Patriots waxed them. If you – they beat the – look, I thought Kansas City on a neutral field, that's a, they're a little bit better than the Patriots. And the fact that the Patriots couldn't cover, right, like they, the three points – they were three and a half points favorite. They won by a field goal. You get a field goal for playing at home. It means it's like a push them kind, a kind of push them kind of game. But – Patriots beat a defense like the Bears on the road at a certain point. What are you going to say? Yeah. Look, the way the league has changed, the Patriots don't play defense. Who does really play defense anymore? Mm -hmm. Baltimore, one or two teams. All the rules favor the quarterback. Can you remember any roughing the passer penalties going against the Patriots this year? <laughs> no. As usual, they're the best coached team. And if they go get a quality win on the road against, by our standards, a quality defense, I'm going to say, yeah, okay, here they come again. The Patriots had already been there. They're not en route to it. They don't need to beat the Bears to validate anything. They play in the AFC East. Yeah. Okay? And the fact of the matter is that the second that they beat Kansas City, they put you on notice that they're trying to make another Super Bowl run. Because what you have is a situation where, in all likelihood, the Patriots are going to be in position, if for no other reason by default alone because of the three opponents in the six games they play within their own division, the Patriots have put you on notice that they're going to be one of the top two seeds in the AFC. If that were to happen, that means the road to the Super Bowl comes through Foxborough with the exception of likely Kansas City. That's what we're looking at here. And if that's the situation, I don't see any of those teams going into Foxborough and beating the New England Patriots. So that's where I'm at right now. They're not en route to anything. Yeah. They're already there. Let me ask you this. Max, who do you think has the better defense, the Patriots or the Chiefs? The Chiefs' defense is actually rounding, is improving as the season goes on. And I'd like, I know they just, the Patriots yeah. hung a big number on them, but they can hang a big, big number on anyone. But when it comes down to it, a Bill Belichick coached team simply has an advantage. And Andy Reid is just about as good as it gets, but Belichick's better. Mm -hmm. So uh, between two defenses, neither with a lot of talent, I would say the Patriots have less talent on their defense. Mm -hmm. More kind of veteran smarts, less talent for what it's worth. And I ask that because I, I feel like those are going to be the two teams in the AFC in the end. I like, the San, I like San Diego, actually, because I actually think San Diego has a defense, especially if, when Bosa comes back. But I, I got to give the Belichick coached team the edge. Yeah. I don't disagree with that. But I do think that uh, Kansas City is going to come up. And if somehow, some way, you got Houston and Eric Berry who ends up coming back. If those two come back, that's going to go a long way towards oh. elevating Kansas City's defense. We won't be saying that about them if those two guys were. I just if don't Khalil like the Mack way. goes, though, this could be the toughest defense they face. Well, they faced the Jags when the Jags were still. Yeah, the but Jags. no, the Jags, as it turns out, yeah. don't have a good defense this year I'm so trying far. To think of who else they if Khalil played Mack so far. is, if Khalil Mack is playing like Khalil mm -hmm. Mack, that would be the best defense they faced. And the reason I don't like how you guys always dismiss the Chargers is the Chargers have an offense, and especially when Bosa I gets back, they got a defense. Don't dismiss the Chargers. Yeah, uh, you dismiss them a little bit, salted them a little bit, a little bit. I need to see a resume like Stephen A. I need to see him do something. How's Philip Rivers' resume? No good? I need to see him do something well, in the playoffs. I, I, I will say this to you. I, I'm not going to dog Jacksonville's defense. They were horrid last week. We get that against Dallas. They haven't been impressive over the last two weeks. I think that they're demoralized because Blake Bortles is their quarterback, and that's affected the defense because yep. they're tired of being KC's on the field. KC's defense looked good against They're tired them. of three and out. They're yeah. tired of three and out.